Okay, uh, everybody, this is my setup I have in my house. It's my solar panel setup. It looks kind of trashy. I got a lot of junk on the shelves. This is my Volt wor Volts Works 1500 watt pure sine wave power inverter. It, it works really good. I've, ha I've, been, I've had it for a year. It's been working great. Um, there's the uh, on and off switch to it. I also have other connections to it. My power's running off of it. And um, got a lot of power there connected to it. The two chins, 250 amp, which they're not 250 amp. They definitely don't put out that. I have them connected together. And I also have five of those batteries that I did a video on, the, B the BTR batteries. They're all connected up to the same system. They tell you you can't connect these up because they don't match each other. Well, if they were brand new batteries, if all four, all the two chins and these five batteries are here, if they were all brand new and had all the voltage they're supposed to have in them, then you could not hook them up to each other because then they would actually burn each other out. One, one or the other would actually burn out. But since the chins and the, B, the BTR batteries down here, they're, they don't all have the same amount of voltage. Actually, this is... I uh, tested them all, charged them. Every one of them have some kind of a voltage rating on them. Can't see that one, but they all I they all had a, they all sat for eight days and dropped down below 14 volts. I'm using 12 gauge wire on them. 12, two 12 gauge wires are connected and they go up and they connect to the back of the power inverter. The reason I went with 12 gauge wire is because it won't send too much of the amps to the 100 amp batteries and the 250 amp ones won't interfere with each other. If, if I were to use a lot thicker of a wire, like a number eight or six, it would probably send too many amps into the batteries down there or vice versa. And that might cause any of them to burn out. But with the, uh, with the thinner wires, they're not gonna draw a whole lot of power because these don't have 100 amps each left in, in them anymore. That's, it's, I can't tell you how many amps. I do have an amp meter over here, but most of the time I can't figure out what's what on this thing. This is actually the uh, voltage meter and that's actually supposed to be a three, but that for some reason that one is burned out. So it says 13.3 volts. And that's coming from all five of these batteries. There's five batteries down there connected up in uh, parallel. And these are connected in parallel. And if I turn this off, because this is this one here and that one there are separated by this uh, breaker. And if I turn them off, it does lower the voltage by one volt on the power meter over here, by one volt but it's been maintaining a 13 volt on this uh, power inverter. I do have a 600 watt, well, 1200 surge, 600 watt pure sine wave down here that's connected in there. It's just not turned on. It's, it's my backup. On top of my, up here, I have a 300 watt pure sine wave, which is one of the biggest piles of junk around. I have to smack it every now and then just to get it to start working. I only have two cheap solar charge controllers over here that I've uh, changed the voltage down to to only like, uh, what is it, 13.9 uh, volts would be the highest they charge up before they cut off. I have two really nice ones up here, 240 amps. This one burned out for some reason. It, it can be worked. I'm going to use it for something else, but this one here, I don't know what happened to it. I haven't been able to get it to work either. I guess when you buy the more expensive ones, they become uh, pretty easy to stop working. I am going to check it out later to see if I can figure out what's wrong with it, but right now I don't really care. I'm only, I'm only inputting um, 730 watts into this system right now from solar panels. I have 200 watts that I need to work on out there that uh, somehow they stopped working and I just need to change the uh, little, uh, it's a little bitty, actually it's one of these here.
sorry. I didn't, I didn't expect to show this part to you. Actually, one of these in there, one of these diodes that are in there. I bought a box of 100 because they burn out real, real easy. But I just need to change the diet, maybe one or two or all, or all four. They're only 50 watt solar panels, totaling 200 watts. So I just need to go through them and check and see which ones are burned out and just change them. I just wanted to show you, show everybody that what people tell you on the internet and stuff.